So welcome to this short mindfulness video, which is called Pause and Take in the Good. This video is brought to you by the Leitrim Development Company under the Social Inclusion and Community Activation Program. My name is Jared Martin Gottlieb. And I'm Dr. Paula Martin Gottlieb. So as humans, we may recognize that when there's stress or uncertainty or challenge, our minds will naturally move towards that which is negative. So spiraling off into confusion, anxiety, rumination. It's just how the brain is wired. When we start to practice mindful awareness, we can begin to become curious as to where our minds are actually directing or inclining towards. What are we paying attention to? We can begin a practice of starting to become curious about moments that are actually nourishing, no, moments that feel good for us, moments where we have a sense of well-being. And it doesn't mean that we have to go off on an exotic holiday or win the lottery. Often these are moments that are happening during a perhaps busy day. So you might be driving into town and maybe caught up in some traffic and feeling the usual frustration with that. It may be simply noticing or taking in the smile or the laughter of a child or the beauty of the light as it touches some of the autumn leaves. It may be that you wake up on a dark wintry morning and it's raining and cold. The body is oh, feeling the heaviness of that. It may be taking a moment to notice the morning bird song and actually pausing with that. And science tells us that when we really pause with what, what that which feels good, really let ourselves feel, oh, what does it feel like? Gosh, is there a lightness? Or maybe there's a smile that arises or a sense of warmth. And science tells us that we should stay with this feeling for 20 to 30 seconds that actually our brains give us a little release of positive neurotransmitters, hormones, serotonin, dopamine, and sometimes even oxytocin. So these are hormones that give us a sense of greater attention, energy, concentration. So it's a real reminder and an encouragement that taking in moments of goodness, moments of the pleasant, actually has a positive effect on our mental, physical and emotional well-being and that it doesn't have to be out of the ordinary. Mm. All of that is so true and imagine staying with the good for 20, 30 mm -hmm. seconds might feel like a bit of a stretch for <laughs> many of us. Um, here's a conversation I bet just about everyone's familiar with. So one person says, ah, gorgeous day today, isn't it? Other person says, it's going to rain tomorrow. Mm. We've all seen this. Mm. It's almost like there's a wiring that, oh, we can't take in the goodness of this, you know, sun today, the warmth today, the clearness of the sky today that the mind has to go towards where's the danger, where's the trouble, where's the hardship. And, and we're wired this way, just as Paula mm -hmm. was saying. The mind can be Velcro for that which is difficult, and the mind can be Teflon for that which is good. But the beauty of being mindful of that which is good, to really allow ourselves to nourish, to savor, to take it in, is that it'll naturally incline us towards that which is most supportive, that which we get the most joy from. And it can be simple. We're not talking about big things here. It could just be noticing the joy from the bird song, like Paul had said, or if you're on this autumnal day right now, the blackberries on the walk or the mm, sweet conversation with a friend or helping uh, someone out. Just taking that in, to be mindful, to be aware as we're doing it, we see the nourishment from it and it inclines us towards more of it. There's a practice that uh, 
of all people, Kurt Vonnegut has. And, you know, he's known to not be the sunniest uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> of writers. You know, there's a bit of darkness in his stories. But, you know, a practice had come to him from a very dear being of when something is bringing joy, when something is bringing delight, to say out loud, mm -hmm. if this isn't nice, I don't know what is. Mm -hmm. And really having that for the moment of connection, for the, you know, beautiful day. Because the thing is, if, even though it might rain tomorrow, I live in Ireland, that's often the case, it makes the sunny day all the more precious. Because it's fleeting. How much are we going to fully be here for this life? And so now I'm, I'm going to lead an exercise in taking in the good. And it could be especially helpful when you some difficulty might be in the field for you. There might be some challenging stuff coming up. And this is a practice that could be really useful for you. I'm going to lead it as if it's kind of a mindfulness meditation, but it doesn't have to be anything fancy. This is just a reflection that you can bring to yourself in any in any moment that you can see how it works for you. But for myself, it actually, I find myself more resourced, more resilient, um, having a lot more capacity to really meet the day and to meet it more with an attitude of joy. So you can find yourself just sitting, standing, doing whatever you're doing, whatever posture, it's just the right one, lying down, whatever is all good. And you know, there might be something difficult that's in consciousness. And as this is in consciousness, you might imagine, you might bring to mind, and your eyes can be open or closed for this, you might imagine or bring to mind a place that feels especially sacred, especially nourishing, a place that to even have it in your mind, you get a little hit of joy. It could be somewhere in nature, it could be a building or home of some sort, it can be a religious space, it can be ancient, it could be new. Just letting this place be in your mind. You might have been there recently, it may have been a long time since you've been to this place, but your mind knows the feeling of it. Let yourself savor it. And as you have this supportive place in mind, you might now bring to mind a person, an animal, maybe people, maybe a few animals, that when they're in consciousness and they're brought to mind, you feel just mm, good inside. That there's a lightness, that there's a feeling of your experience being held, there's a feeling of being supported just with this being who might have helped you in some way, who might have brought you joy. It might be someone you know, it might be someone you don't know. And just seeing now, just checking in the body how it feels to have this nourishing place and the supportive people or animals in consciousness. And this practice is just giving a taste of what it is to pause and really take in the good. And you might notice a pleasantness of even hearing the sound of the bird. So thank you for that practice, Jared. Mm. And perhaps just as we move towards a close, I'm going to offer you a, a poem um, mm. as an offering of something that may bring a sense of goodness or nourishment. And it's also a, rem a reminder that it may be about remembering things that bring joy, a piece of music, actually stopping and pausing and really listening to the piece of music or 
sitting down with a book that you enjoy or enjoyed. So this poem is one that is dear to both of us mm -hmm. and it's called Mindful by Mary Oliver. Every day I see or hear something that more or less kills me with delight. That leaves me like a needle in the haystack of light. It was what I was born for, to look, to listen, to lose myself inside this soft world, to instruct myself over and over in joy and acclamation. Nor am I talking about the exceptional, the fearful, the dreadful, the very extravagant, but of the ordinary, the common, the very drab, the daily presentations. Oh, good scholar, I say to myself, how can you help but grow wise with such teachings as these? The untrimmable light of the world, the oceans shine, the prayers that are made out of grass. Mm. That's so beautiful. So thank you for taking these few moments to pause and to practice with us and wishing you well as you move into the next part of your day. I hope this time was fruitful. Thank you. Bye for now. Be well.